Yo, what's going on guys? Zach is still absolutely overloaded for top lane specifically. He's currently a top five, top seven jungler, depending on your elo and region. And he's honestly a great jungler as well. If you're going to play him top lane, just look to ban a jungler like Lilia and they'll expect to see you jungle since that's where he still played the most. If your best runes possible, you still want to go for grass, a demolish second wind revitalized. Demolish gives you an angle for shoving lane and breaking turret. And we got last stand tenacity, attack speed, double health. Your worst matchup playing Zac is max health damage champions. Max health burns are pretty annoying. Brand's tough. Uh, Vayne's really hard. Max health true damage as well. Got the D shield start. For our build, it's always going to be a Sunfire item rush first item. So Hollowed Radiance or Sunfire. It's Trundle Jack. So clear Sunfire angle here. Level one, we're mainly just looking to farm. If we can get up a grasp, that's fine. But, uh,. Like outside of that, oof. Yeah, we didn't even get our grasp off there. So if we step up and we W plus get off a grasp auto, it's an okay trade. Since he already had his lethal tempo somewhat stacked, it made that a little less favorsome for us. He's playing really aggressive. We're gonna have to wait till level two. Trundle has a very strong all into the death level one. He can take on most champions, even really strong stuff like a Darius. We gotta be patient. Once we have level two, level three, we get much, much stronger. We get try to get him with that W there. Now we can hit him with a Q. We're able to land it, hit it on the minion. I accidentally auto that same minion. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and use our potion. He's playing really deep underneath our turret. He's going to get himself whacked here in a moment. Bash him against this. We'll flash W. Down he goes, just like so. We made plenty of mistakes there over trading against the Trundle. He makes that one mistake on turret and he's dead. Biggest thing is, don't lose too much health before you're level 3. Before you're level 3, even if you have to give up minion last hits, do that. You'll lose a bunch of health, and then you won't be able to farm anyways, and then you won't even be able to trade effectively. They're going to go for W max first, unlike Zach Jungle. Got my grass ready. Got him with our grass bottle. Get him with an E. He's in turret as well here. He's actually, he's actually dead here. My Q kills. Yeah, we got his ghost there. That's pretty big. We'll go ahead and shove the wave. Damage is crazy high at 3 plus. To where we have all of our abilities. Our Q and E are both displacements. So even if they have cleanse, tenacity, QSS, they can't outplay it really. Displacements are the best form of CC in the game. That's why Zach is the highest win rate tank in the game on any position. So he's got triple AoE displacements. Maybe. I don't think we can get the place. It's before the five minute mark, top and mid turret don't take a proper damage. We'll run away. Yeah, it sucks. We'll go ahead and TP on back. First item. Typically bomby, since it is a Jax Trundle. I wouldn't mind having plays still caps. They're both extremely auto attack based. Although Zach doesn't usually need boots because his E is his primary source of engage. Like I said, Jax Trundle, they're all autos. We can wait in bush, hit him with an E. If they don't see you charging it, it's much harder for them to dodge it. Boop. We'll just run away. There's a grass bottle. We don't want to fight him on his soil here. Turn around and get him with a W auto. Not a great trade for us. He's at least using some mana, losing some health. There's the Q, we pull him in, get him with the E, auto W, and he's going to have to base again. This time I'll be able to get some turret because it's past the five minute mark. Oh, he's actually staying. We're healing back rapidly, just picking up some Bloblets. I'm going to hold on to my Q, I want to have it here. I 
could be nice. We could get him with a Q, auto turret, hit him with E. Just like so. And we do get it. We didn't even get our passive there. Turret's your best friend for slamming people against it. Nice. We're going to get two plates out of this. At this point, he really needs his jungler to come bail out this lane because he's in a really, really, really rough spot. Get that extra blob from slamming them together. I got my grass ready, just taking damage or dealing any damage against any source. We'll get that ready for you. We don't want to eat until he pillars. I'm sure he kind of knows that as well. He's baited. We hit him with E. Or actually missed my E there. I'm surprised that missed. Pick up our Bloblets. We're chilling and grilling. And he's going to try to focus me. I still have my passive. Oof. She actually went for my teammate there. I'm going to die. I didn't even see the the uh, jacks. That sucks. Tibbers is beating on my Blobs. Get him with an EWQ. Pull him against the Tibbers. I get all my bloblets. Nice, 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 nice. That was huge. And he's out of mana too. I have my grasp up. She's got her teammate here. It's kind of awkward. Uh, them chasing or whatever. I still have my grasp. Well, my grasp is about to be. Hey, Annie. Got the knock up into Q. We hit the Q slow as she's coming out. Auto W. Very nice. <laughs> These guys really want me. <laughs> I mean, I still have plated. He just lost his... Uh, his soil. He's going to full stack his lethal tempo here. I can, e I can short hop E away. He's dead. Yeah. I still have flash as well. We'll go ahead and pull this together. <laughs> We're killing everybody. <laughs> Zach healing is ridiculously high. He's probably the biggest meta self healer right now. Yeah, Zach's OP, man. He really, really is broken. The play still caps were faster than them. Most champions aren't going to raw rush tier 2 boots like this. Since we have it. We can do whatever we want. Got my grass bot already. I have red buff. I'd like to get him with the auto here. Since I don't have bombies, the... Uh, I'm not even getting focused by the turret there like I would normally. Just proxy the wave even here. It's kind of funny. Similar to a singe. As long as I hold on to my E. I can threaten the turret a little bit. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this must be fun for him. <laughs> so troll. I'll get my grasp up. Knock him against this. Get him with the grasp auto. Got grasp up again. Get him with the auto W. I can just R him away at this point if we really want to. I know he doesn't have pillar and I'm faster than he is. We'll launch him the other way. He should miss a lot of CS. I'll buy a full item. Head back to lane. Extremely AD heavy. I know Sunfire would still be our best option here. Second item rush. Uh, an ending despair is typically what you're shooting for if you need more armor. I think we could use some more. If you need magic resist, generally going to be Spirit Visage. We can go Abyssal. Our team is pretty magic damage heavy. The Bard, Soul, me. A little bit of Vully. So yeah, we could definitely pick up an Abyssal this game. The Morgana, Annie. We'll do that at some point. We could even grab a Dark Seal since we're ahead. It's a really good item to get as a magic damage champion. Scales off of ability power on Q, W, E, and R. Pass is the only thing that doesn't scale off of AP on Zach. Auto Q. You can generally weave in an auto in between your, a lot of your CC on Zach. You can just straight up dive him. He's not doing real damage to us. 
and get that play kind of walk him down make him waste more time let him start his recall he's gonna think i'm chilling but nah i'm gonna let him wait go a couple seconds deep and then step forward again i could kill them all here jacks annie and uh trundle doesn't matter oof i even connected the damage you just can't stop people's recall when they're down to last like, half second That Sunfire is going to get me shoot up by the turret. Cue the minion. Try to auto him. He runs away. It's whatever. I'll pick up the Bloblets. I'm hoping someone does come to gank me other than Vayne. Vayne would actually chew me up pretty good. I'll get him with an E auto. W. W outranges our autos. It's got a bit more reach. Cue the Annie. Pull them together. W. I, I got a R away for the movement speed. Bump back into Annie. Oh, I'm dead. Short hop over the wall with E. No charge. <sighs> well played to them. They're going to kill me here. I almost lived, funnily enough, but... No enchilada, man. They got me that time. Baron Square. An ending despair would be nice. I mean, heart still is fun, but it's just not a good item. It's too expensive, takes too long to scale. Zach's also not particularly auto attack based. Could push Leandre's. Leandre's is good if you're ahead. That might actually be the item here instead. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a Leandre's. This guy's pretty greedy. Auto Q auto. I got his ghost. I wasn't even gonna chase him because I wanted these minions. Figure Jax would rotate eventually there. We'll just stay and push. We could fight, like I said, any of them 2v2, but not really 1v3. Or I should say 1v2. We could win that even. Boop. 100 CS, that's decent. 8 CS per minute. Get our grass going here. We'll step up. Got the W. Can't quite catch the auto there. There's my grass auto. I want to bang him against the turret. I can't seem to find it. He's got more auto range than I do, it feels like. I think we're both at 175. It's weird. He can't go for the turret because he's trying to get my Sunfire to activate against him. Annie might rotate on me if she's here. So he lost a lot of minions. I got the Trundle R, which is nice. I can kind of just heal this all back up. <laughs> Jeez. Chill, Annie. Knock her away. Don't think I die here. Got the Q onto Jax. Got the onto Vayne. Launch it. Got Annie. I gotta keep picking up these Bloblets. <sighs> Annie got me with R. My goodness, dude. Got a lot of damage. It's important to limit test. It should, the limit test should make sense, though, based on what items you have levels versus their item and levels. And then you can kind of learn how far you can push your champion. Oh, this guy's being greedy. Knock up auto Q auto. I have nothing to auto him against because everything died against my Sunfire. I'll run the tight route, cut him off. My grasp is ready to use. I'll hold on to my E. We'll cue the minion, auto him. It's going to hold on to E because I was still in auto range. I can save E if I really need to. Not bad. We'll stay for turret. We can put a lot of pressure down. As long as Vayne doesn't come, we should be fine. Your E short hop, like just not even charging it, just pressing it, it can go over any thin or tiny wall instantly. You need to get snug as a bug into it though. You gotta get right up to it. 
There's my demolish. We'll pull them together. Got him with the QW and Grass Auto. Step up. Got him with the W Auto again. I mean, the Grass are kind of nice to get. Just because they are uh, infinite scaling health or whatever. The E over there, they're obviously kind of encircling me here. Get him with the R. Oof. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, got got him, but the Tibbers finishes me off. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm glad we could get the Jacks at least. 30 grasps. Alright, not bad. Almost have Leandre's here. We were going to pick up an Unending Despair. When you're head on Jack or on uh, Zach, Leandre's is a pretty good item even to have first. Yeah, we just ended up with Leandre's here instead. Somehow we're losing as a team. It's kind of weird because I feel like we're pulling so much pressure. Constant Annie rooms and whatnot. I have TP. I can get over there if my teammates start it. It's free. Got a bard queue. He's not landing much else. I guess I have to go. We're going to lose a lot here. Maybe two turrets. I got a Q on a vein, but bard R'd me. Kind of losing the fight for us pretty hard there. A bard R on me was brutal. We're not even going to get dragged now out of all of that. That stinks. Yeah, like I said, we're going to lose like two turrets out of that. We <laughs> went two for two. I had Vayne as well. It's very unfortunate. It's a tricky thing about Bard is a lot of the times this R causes more damage than good. Knock up auto, Q auto. We should still get Dragon at least. We lost two turrets for it, so not really worth. Hindsight, I should just let my team die on drag, save the two turrets. Now they have an open inhib. And the turrets are worth a lot of gold as well. Flash, get her with the Q, WR, walk her down. Got ended up getting her flash there too, so not bad. I don't know where Vayne is, so I'm not gonna use my E yet, because I need to be able to escape. And eh, never mind, we're fine. Pull them together, not bad, we'll take it. I only used my E at that point because she circled this way and I had vision with minions, so I wasn't worried about Vayne at that point. That's Dragon, baby. I played pretty sloppy in the early game against Trondo. I was playing too aggressive. I need to slow down to level 3. Outside of that, I think we're bringing it around town here in the late game. Mid late game. For landing your Q when things are kind of stacked on top of each other, minions and pets, use the tilde. Target enemy champions only. That way you can't accidentally click the thing you're not trying to click. Vayne splitting top. I guess Trendle's going to split the other side. We'll see how that works for them. There's the Eon to Annie. Auto Q auto. I'm going to break the turret. Morg's got nothing left here. My Sunfire's chewing her up. There's the Grass Botto. Very nice. Demolish let us smash that turret. Take one shot here. Is he going to jump to anything? Get him with the E. We weren't able to jump, knock him out of the air, but get him with our R. Slow him down. Get him with that knock. We could keep going. People don't realize Zach E is basically a Malphi R. It is technically stoppable, though. Got to be with the knock up auto, Q auto. Walk her down. So yeah, we can just repeat, go back in again and again and again. Oof. I got an E away. That helped get some distance away from turret, hopefully, to where it can't snipe all my bloblets. Don't know why Smolder's in turret. That's fine, though. Go ahead and queue this together. Get back some bloblets. Maybe get back up to at least kind of half ish health. Got 
Got it. <clears throat> I can chill right here, find a good E. Someone just hit me with a plant. And now we have... Mm, I think Unending Despair. We can go Canic next. You would think Spirit Visage would be Zach's best magic resist item in the game. But Canic's so overloaded. Canic is broken, seriously. Spirit Visage, it's a hard item to buff because some champions have such radical forms of self-healing, like Zach and Swain, that the items kept at, in my opinion, barely pickable, even on champions where it should be their go-to item. It is not an essential item on Zach at all. I guess I'll take this. I don't really know what's warded and what's not, though. I need to watch my spacing here so I don't get flanked on. Don't know where the vein is, so this feels kind of risky. Got the knockup auto Q auto. And the R. Saved R for a while, not knowing if I really needed it. This point we want to break vision you never really want the enemies to know where you are on zach when you're going to be team fighting if they know where you are then they'll dodge your e come with an e auto we'll walk away panicked a little bit yeah Jax gets away here there's no way we can chase that morgue's gonna ward this area i don't think this bush is warded though Gonna stand still for that. Hey, more got it with the Q. Well, that's bad. Well, at least Vane died. If Vane's dead, I'm happy. She's all their shred. Once she's down, they got no one left to do the shredding. Jax gets on to Soul. Voli's trying to slow that down. Jax Q's gonna be back up now. He's gonna hop to Soul. Yep. Jack splashes out, and he's trying to follow it up. Nice little soul drive-by, but there's no... Ooh, okay, okay. I was going to say there's no damage behind, but then all of a sudden, Annie disappeared. One of Zach's biggest weaknesses is the fact that Frozen Heart isn't really viable on him. The mana is worthless. If, instead of mana, it gave, like, burn damage or something, it would be a great item for Zach. Zach doesn't like to go Thornmelt either. Thornmelt kind of sucks on Zach too. Because how are they supposed to heal cut themselves on you if they can't move? If you're permanently seeing them with your E, Q, and R, how are they even going to heal cut themselves by autoing you, right? Oh, he's quick. So am I, though. This, this dude doesn't even have boots. Auto, Q, auto. I mean, I can just get him with my next E. So I'm just straight up faster. We'll charge E only for a little bit because I didn't want him to pillar me out of it. So if we overcharge, he'll have time to react. So we'll, just, we'll charge the um, what we can get away with there. Hey, Annie, we'll get her with a Q. Oh, well played by her. We get her against the minion. Auto and R. Pick up Bloblets. We kind of wobble around. There it is. I didn't even get a chance to get off my grasp. I don't think I have to go mid right now. My teammates have more people than they have. Wow, we're really, really fed at this point. A lot of HP. Where did more... Oh, hey, friend. Got her with a Q. That was a good bard R. I don't even have to flash for that. They're, they're goners. I accidentally put another point in my E instead of my R. That was a mistake. <laughs> Always take an extra point in your ultimate when it lets you. We could stay, keep throwing in E's. So yeah, Malphi R is unstoppable. No matter what you do, it goes through. But a Zac E, they can knock you out of the air with displacements or abilities that ground you. Like Jinx Traps ground, Vex Fear grounds. I think Wayfear probably does. Can't verify that right now. 
for the most part, it is just displacements, like knockups, knockbacks, hooks. Walk him down a bit. Get him with the Q. Auto against cannon. Look at that. 311 per bloblet. Gee whiz, Riot. That is... That is really something. 300 per blob. Zach's Q does give you true vision of the target. So vein invisibility, shake invisibility. You can see them if you have your Q touching them. <clears throat> if your Q's on them. Or a collie. I can't reach, so I'm not going to use my E there. If I could reach, I would have done it. If you're, since you're easier primary form of engage, especially from long distance, you can't reach, don't do it. My Q misses. Oof. We get Vayne with my E, auto R. We're behind the Zach. We get him with the knock and a Q against plant. He gets knocked again. Drop E. We probably have the most damage dealt in the game right now. Mirror Soul. Oh, hey, Morg. I can't let you get away with that, buddy. Got her with a Q. Auto them together. Down he goes. Uh, I think I win this, but I have to kite it out. <laughs> If I stand there and trade autos, I'll lose. Got to keep picking up these blobs too. Auto eat. Yeah, you're seeing the Leandri's unending despair pull some weight there. <laughs> we have three full items. Trundle had two. That's kind of funny. All right, we'll go ahead and reset. So, I mean, we're sitting on can. We could go Spirit Visage. With how little damage I'm taking from magic damage, I'll go Spirit Visage, because ultimately Kanik is really just an anti-magic damage item. Spirit Visage is slightly more neutral since it increases our healing, which is useful against whoever we're fighting, not just magic damage. If let's say if Annie was the one on the team, she had eight, nine kills, and Morgana had eight kills, yes, I'd definitely go Kanik here. But Annie and Morgana are practically useless. I'm not gonna bother playing my item around them. She's lined up with the wall, hit her with Q, we can see her, pull her back, down she goes. Beautiful. Got his black shield, I could flash, knock someone against the turret here. Like I was saying. You're not safe, your turrets, do, your turrets make you the opposite of safe. Against that, give you an extreme sense of security when you're not secure. I gotta walk out of these. They're all heated up. Missed my Q. Go deep E on him. Someone stunned him. Well played the bard, I guess. I saw a passive. Yeah, Zach's... He's insane, man. His first two levels aren't great. His level 3 is fantastic. His level 6 is insane. His team fighting is insane. His scaling is insane. His champ's wild. He's gonna have to get a nerf of some kind, unfortunately. So look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions in a game that lasted almost 30 minutes. We had the most dealt significantly. There's not a single tank in League of Legends right now other than Zac that can do that. We built almost complete tank. Our only damage item is Leandre's and still that does give uh, HP as well. So really happy with the damage output. Damage taken. Most in the game. Self mitigated. We should be the most is. Yep. If you can take the most deal the most self mitigate the most there's an inherent imbalance in that. It, it breaks the concept of rock, paper, scissors, of uh, glass cannon versus tank versus bruiser, right? The closest thing that's supposed to be able to do the most of all three if they're fed is a bruiser. But really, a tank shouldn't be able to do the most damage in the same way that an AD carry shouldn't be able to take the most damage. Hopefully, that makes sense. For runes, we find that we have pretty good value as a whole. Grasp isn't that useful in the late game. It's more of a early mid game rune. I mean, you could even make the argument that Aftershock is a better late game rune than uh, Grasp. But I guess the most valuable thing about it is it's given us close to two, 300 bonus health. That's about it. All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed the Zach video. No, he's still really, really, really strong. Unless there's a nerf that comes that wipes him out. He's an insane pick. Just don't play him against Vayne Top. If you enjoyed this Zach video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.